a simple premise. Relationships precede financial results. And that's why a big part of their focus is putting their partners in a position to be successful, be remarkable consistently. And I, I want to give you an example of this happening. And I think there's a, a real relevant insight around this story. I, I mentioned I, I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota, uh, but originally I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. And my mom still lives in Cleveland in the house we grew up in. She's a retired school teacher. So every year around the holidays, we all go back and we visit mom. Well, a couple of years ago, I was traveling when my schedule worked out on Christmas Eve. And uh, I thought the airport was going to be a zoo. So I got there a couple hours early. It wasn't. It wasn't crowded at all. So for me, that means Starbucks time. So I get, I get down into my terminal, Terminal D, and I see the green sign. And when I travel these days, I always wear earbuds, you know, so I'm, I'm rocking out to Coldplay. And I see the sign, I get in line, and there's one woman in front of me. And she's having a very animated conversation with the barista. I couldn't hear what she was saying, but she's kind of waving her arms, and they're both smiling and laughing. So I wasn't in a rush, but out of curiosity, I popped out my earbuds. And sure enough, you know, they're going on about their holidays and their plans and the kids and presents. And she starts to move down the line. So it's my turn to order. And I was greeted with this very warm and sincere welcome. This woman said to me, hi, my name's Lily. What's your name? I said, I'm Ryan. She said, Ryan, what can I make for you today? I said, well, I, I want a grande pumpkin spice latte. She said, you want whipped cream on that, don't you? I said, yeah, yeah, I want the whipped cream. She said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. She said, I'm going to make it extra hot, load it up with whipped cream, sprinkle a little nutmeg on top. That's how I like it. You're going to love it. I said, sounds great. She said, where are you going? I said, Cleveland. She said, are you going back to Cleveland to spend the holiday with your family? I said, yes. <laughs> now, at this point, I start looking around for the camera, right? I mean, I'm trying to get a latte at Starbucks. I'm like, and so I move down the line, and the conversation continues, and she's funny. She's asking me questions about my family and our holiday traditions. She's laughing, and I'm laughing, and she hands me my drink and says to me, Ryan, have a safe trip back to Cleveland. Go create some extraordinary memories with your family. When you come back through the Minneapolis airport, I want you to stop here and tell me all about it. <laughs> you know, so I, I get my drink, I start walking away, and I stop and I look back at this woman, and I think to myself, you know, it's, it's Christmas Eve. Most people would rather be anywhere else in the world than serving coffee in an airport. Not her. It was like she was meant to be there. And I, I couldn't help myself. I had to go back. So I did. I walked back and I said, excuse me, Lily. And you know, she jumps around. Ryan, is everything okay with the latte? Nice athletic stance, pumpkin whipped cream. I said, no. I said, the latte is perfect. I just had to come back and ask you, what, what is your secret to making such a meaningful connections over serving coffee? Well, she, she corrected me. She said, Ryan. I'm not serving coffee. I said, okay, what are you doing? <laughs> she had thought about this. She had thought about this. And what she told me was, I'm pouring happiness into people's lives. I said, you're pouring what? <laughs> like, what is pouring happiness? And I, I want to introduce you to her and her definition of pouring happiness. This is Lily Olson on Christmas Eve, a couple years ago. Lily is the shift supervisor in the Terminal D Starbucks in the Minneapolis International Airport. And this is her definition of pouring happiness. She wants to be happy in her life. She wants to be around happy people. She cares about her customers. She wants them to come back. So she chooses, even on Christmas Eve, to smile, to have fun, to help people, to just be happy. I said, Lily, you are awesome. You're an awesome brand ambassador for Starbucks. You want your customers to keep coming back to Starbucks. No, Ryan. No, Ryan. I said, okay, coffee Yoda, lesson number two, please. She says, no, I, I want my customers to come back to see me in Terminal D. And she, she gets to really important principles of meeting customers where they are in the new economy. And the first one is, instead of just focusing on how to be successful, focus on how to be helpful. Full. 
When you help customers get where they want to go today, they'll return that favor with loyalty. Optimized employees are more likely to be helpful. The other thing she understands and masters straight away is the very specific and intentional decision around how she chooses to show up, even on Christmas Eve. You know this. A lot of things happen in work and in our lives that are beyond our sphere of influence or control. She doesn't control the weather in Minneapolis. Trust me, I live there. She doesn't control what caribou does in D8. All she gets to own is how she chooses to respond to those things. Decide how you show up. You know, it's interesting. When I, when I met Lily, and she would have had no way of knowing this, but I, uh, I was pretty heavy in the heart and had a lot on my mind. My parents, both retired school teachers, married 45 years. About three months before that holiday, I got a call from mom. We got some really tough medical news about dad. Uh, and it was a terminal diagnosis, and we knew we probably weren't going to have a lot of time. So I was sitting in that airport on Christmas Eve, not in the best place in the world. I will never forget that cup of coffee. When you decide to show up consistently as the best version of who you are, it gives you your best opportunity to meet people where they are. And you never know when someone needs you to be your best.